Hello everyone, welcome to another Makeup Monday. Today I recreated a makeup look that I wore maybe almost 20 years ago during the two meter sessions and of course I don't have any of the makeup anymore but I try to recreate it as good as I can with the products that I have at home and I hope that you like this video and let's just jump right into it. I have the Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette and in particular colors that I've been using in the past are this beautiful gold but today I'm going to use the color Warm Notes in combination with caviar stick from Laura Mercier. This is, I just dropped it earlier, I'm so sad. This is the color Desert Sand. Let's start. I'm going to apply some of the Desert Sand onto my lid and then blend it out. I love the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. The color Copper is one of my all-time favorites. If I don't know what to do with my makeup, then I always go for that. I'm blending the eyeshadow out with Linda Hallberg Cosmetics Brush. This is number 304. <laughs> this is going to be my, my base. These caviar sticks are so easy. Just pop them on, blend them out, and they won't crease. They stay on all day. On top of Desert Sand, I'm going to apply some of the warm notes. And I am patting it on top of the cream eyeshadow. I'm going to use a blender brush and dip into the color Substitute for Love to blend out the crease, warm it up a bit. Back then when I did my makeup for the two meter sessions, I was not as experienced or advanced as I am now. And I don't even think that back then I used blending brushes. I just used the brushes that came with the kit. The eyeshadow that I used to create the reddish look was from Bourgeois. They had these little round eyeshadow palettes with three or four colors in them and it was the red palette. I already fell in love with red eyeshadow before it was trendy I guess. For underneath the eye I'm also going to use a little bit of the desert sand but I'm going to use a synthetic angle brush and just take something off. This is the 303 from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics and I blend it out a bit more. Again, substitute for love, also underneath the eye. The trick is when you use red eyeshadow is to either make your waterline smoky with a darker eye pencil, but I love to use a Flash color pencil, and this is from Charlotte Tilbury, the Rock and Co. Eye Cheat. And I put this on my waterline. I'm lining my eyes with KVD Vegan Beauty, or just finished, <laughs> but the battery of my camera died. This is an amazing liner if you want to have a super thin liner or a thick cat eye. It's a great product. Mascara Clinique High Impact Waterproof. So I found another gem palette. This is the Lime Crime Venus palette. And there's some gorgeous red shades in it as well. And I'm going to use a little bit of the color Venus. I just want to make the eyeshadow a little bit more red. I'm feeling that color today. <laughs> I'm probably only going out to get some ice cream, but that's it. <laughs> I don't remember which lipstick I used, and I also don't have it anymore because it's so long ago. But to achieve this color, or come somewhat close to the color, I'm going to use a combination of Charlotte Tilbury Walk of Shame. And I'm going to top it off with Stila Convertible Color in the shade Rose. I'm going to use the Linda Halberg, this is the Lip Brush 301, to just define the lips a little more. Thank you. 
On top, I am going to put some of the Scylla Convertible in the color rose. Give my eyebrows an extra lift with Linda Holberg. This is the Infinity Power Brows Brow Gel and Mascara to give it a little bit of more modern look. And there you go, this is the finished look, the 2 meter sessions makeup look with reddish eyeshadow and a matching lip as well. I hope that you like this video. I'll be recreating some Epica makeup looks. Let me know in the comments below which exact look you want me to recreate and I look forward to reading your comments and wish you a great week.